Let's bring out the blue corner, Khalil Roundtree. Khalil Roundtree comes into the cage with a two and one record. He trains under Vanderlei Silva at one fight team right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Admits he doesn't know a whole lot about his opponent. Just says he knows the name, the name of his gym, where he lives in, and that's about it. Well, I'll tell you what, Khalil Roundtree, your opponent's a banger. I know Khalil Roundtree likes to bang as well, so this should be a lot of fun. Khalil Roundtree, you can see, sporting the uh, pro-level ink work there. Very, very impressive stuff. He wants to be a pro fighter at some time. He understands that, you know, this is the best time in the sport, in the history of the sport as everybody that comes into the cage is prepared. The youngsters just get better and better and better. The man is a sandwich technician at Jimmy John's, and I'm telling you, if he puts the wrong toppings on your sandwich, don't say nothing. Just eat it. Man, I'm running my mouth as loud as I can. What, stinking lettuce? I said I want some damn jalapeno. What's wrong with you, son? Galil Roundtree also in his fair time likes to make music. He says that was his first love, which uh, maybe that's reflected in his walk-in track here tonight. Kind of a a little slow, jazzy tune, not the uh, heavy metal and rap music that we're used to for most. Man, hopefully this hypes him up because this is putting me out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. Hey, I love all types of music. I'm down for anything. I don't care what it is. I'm down for that type of music. But this style, You're man. Waiting for the remix, just all of a sudden the, the beat to cut in. Little job, but like, shot, 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 shot. I mean, this is just... Nap time. Come on, man. Think about what you're trying to do. You're trying to hype yourself up, push you're trying to hype the crowd up. You got to make a better choice. Well, there he is. Bad choice in music or not, that is Khalil Roundtree. Getting a little bit of last minute inspiration. Making his way into the cage. You can see a powerful man. Should be a fun fight. Let's meet his opponent. Let's bring out the red corner, Gio Zavala. Uh-oh. Totally different styles of music, that's for sure. <laughs> now we're talking. Get up off your feet. Gio Zavala from Legends MMA in Hollywood, California. Gio Zavala equally menacing. Six foot tall, 205 pounds. Also said, he's been training about five years. Also said he doesn't know a whole lot about his opponent as well. He just knows he's a stand-up fighter. Gio says he just likes to work, sleep, enjoy life. He's a sparklets driver, actually, in his uh, real life, if we'll say. Also sporting some very impressive ink. And I'm guessing Mr. Gio Zavala can carry more than one bottle at a time, if I, if I had to guess. I don't know if it's legal in sparklets. They might make you have to have a special belt on or something. I bet nobody tells him to wear the special. I was going to say, I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> Manager comes out, get the special. Never mind. Just go ahead. You're breaking violation, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Gio Zavala, a very uh, intimidating looking dude. I actually had him in studio, though, on MMA Junkie Radio Day and said, uh, even though he may look a little bit thuggish, he's actually a pretty nice guy. So, it's a quick look at the tail of the tape. Again, Khalil Roundtree, 2 and 1 to Gio Zavala's perfect 2 and 0. Oh. Gilles of all the older man at 32 to round trees, 21 years old. The rest is equal. Six feet tall, 205 pounds. And if I may say, the mean mug and intimidation factor looks just about equal. <laughs> Don't blink on this one. Vacant light heavyweight title on the line. Let's meet our fighters. Our ISK representatives for the evening are Ralph Cook and President Corey Schaefer, timekeeper Bridget Mazzagatti, scorekeeper Carlos Canton, judges Steve Steele, Jim Potter, and Mallory Triplett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, live on Black Belt TV, scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Light Heavyweight Championship. Fight fans, it's about to go down. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 205 pounds, two wins and one loss. Fighting out of one fight team, Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Khalil Roundtree. 
His opponent stands in the red corner, weighing in at 205 pounds with two wins and no losses. Fighting out of Legends, Hollywood, California, he is Gio Zavala. Your ref in charge of the action is Chris Tyone. Okay, guys, we've gone over the rules. I expect you to bring up to protect yourselves at all times. This is a championship fight. Give me a championship effort, okay? Questions? Questions? Here we go. Good luck. John Morgan, Frank Trigg, cage side here at South Point Arena. It's our main event. Shields of all in the black trunks. Khalil Roundtree, the yellow and black. Light heavyweight title on the line. And I take it back. Shields of all is a far more intimidating man. Far more intimidating. <laughs> I was like, what are you seeing here? Roundtree comes out in the South Point stance. Obviously, intimidation means one thing. Technique means something else. An execution is something all entirely different, too. Because a lot of these guys have great technique, but then they can't execute. Oh, and it's oh. Roundtree that unleashes a few left hands, but Zavala just walks forward. Oh, a oh. knee to the head. I don't think Tyone saw that. No. Unleashed punches, and that's the fight. That's, that's it. That's going to be it. Boy, I thought a knee landed to the head. That was. It was a knee directly you know, to the head. Incredible performance by... Khalil Roundtree, excellent, but unfortunately, I think Chris Tyone missed a knee. For sure, that was 100% a knee straight to the head. We'll probably, I wonder if we can get a pull up and replay, guys. Can you pull that knee up? Or at least take us back through it so we can take a look at it. Yeah, hopefully we can take a look at it. I don't know if any of the officials saw it cage side. Chris Tyone did not see the knee. But I think the knee is what led to the end of the fight. No less impressive from Khalil Roundtree. I mean, it was great to see the, the aggression and but to me, I mean, if, if we're looking at it, it's a knee. Whether you call it accidental or purpose, I, I don't know. Well, no, it wasn't accidental. I mean, he threw the knee purposely. The question was where it landed. It landed right to his head, and that's the problem. All right, well, let's get the official word. I'm not sure if anybody saw the knee or not, but let's get the official word. Khalil Roundtree is your winner, unless we've got some kind of a surprise decision. Let's take it up to the cage for Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after 30 seconds into the first round, your winner, and new tough enough light heavyweight champion, Khalil Roundtree. So Khalil Roundtree, your new light heavyweight champion, moves to three and one. Impressive performance. I hate to say it, I still think the knee was, was what caused the loss there. You know, maybe we didn't see it. I, I didn't see the replay, so uh, perhaps not. But uh, a great Khalil. performance by Khalil Roundtree. And let's talk to our, our new champion briefly. Coming in this fight with two and one, going up against Gio Zavala. Two wins, no losses. Knowing that light heavyweight championship was up on the line, what was the game plan? Oh, game plan. Pray a lot, run a lot, train a lot. Um, I came into this one never underestimating anybody. I learned that in my last fight, underestimated my opponent. Uh, it turned out, going to decision, I never want that to happen again. Uh, first off, I want to thank God for getting me through this, everything, seriously. Um, second of all, my friends, my family, my coaches, Mike Smith, Michael Costa, Sidney Silva, they're the best guys in the world. Vanderlei Silva, you're in Brazil. I love you, man. Thank you for all the training. Thank you for everything. My family, I see you guys over there. Don, I love you forever. Mom, I love you so much. You're the best thing I've ever had. And everybody else, Bo, thank you for coming, bro, seriously. Hey, Jesus Christ is the center of my life, and he's the one who got me here. This victory is because of him, and I know it for sure. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, your new light heavyweight champion, Khalil Roundtree.